Welcome to Miniorange. Miniorange provides single sign-on solution for Jira, and as we know that it is the best SAML SSO solution available in the market. In this video, we will be going through the Jira SAML SSO plugin redirection rules feature. Let's get started. You can set up the Jira SAML plugin, by watching our end-to-end -end setup video, the link is in the description. In the Miniorange SAML single sign-on configuration, you can see that we have configured a single identity provider. For the single IDP, you can go to the sign-in settings. Let's consider that, all the Jira users are present on IDP. In this case, you can enable the auto redirect to the IDP option. This will redirect all the users to the IDP, after few seconds, when they try to access Jira login page. You can remove this delay, by disabling the Delay Auto Redirect to IDP button. To check the delay in auto redirection, go to the Jira login page. And you can see that the page is being redirected to the configured identity provider login page in few seconds. Log in using your IDP credentials. You will be successfully logged into Jira dashboard. Now let's consider that your users are present on both local Jira application, and on IDP as well. In this case, in the Sign in Settings tab, you can enable the Auto Redirect to IDP option for the users on IDP. And use Backdoor Link for the admin local login. You can also restrict Backdoor URL access by enabling this option, and you can add restriction on the Backdoor based on groups, to make sure only admins are able to access it. Or else, you can disable the Auto Redirect to IDP option, and save the settings. This will display the SSO button on the Jira login page. Let's check the Jira login page. Here you can see that the user with the local Jira credentials can log in using the login button. And the users present on the IDP can log in via SSO button. Now, let's consider that users can log in into multiple IDPs, or single IDP, and login page. You can see that we have configured two IDPs here. Go to the Redirection Rules tab. Here you can add your own rule, by clicking on the Add Rule button. Enter the rule name. In the IF drop-down, you can add constraint on email domain, directory or groups. Here we will select email domain. In the next drop-down, you can add condition on email domain. Equals, for the exact match of the email domain or as of the form, which can be used in situations where the rule needs to be applied to a user's multiple domains. We will be going with equals. Now enter the required email domain in the given text box. Now, from this drop-down, select the required IDP, which you want to direct to, or select the login page option, to show them the Jira login page. They will be redirected here when the above condition is satisfied. Here we will select Miniorange. Click on Save. You can see, new rule is being added. You can also set the default redirection rules here. Users can be redirected to either of the configured identity providers, or Jira login page, or any other URL. Here we will select login page. Go to the Jira login page. You will be asked to enter your username, or email ID, to check the redirection rule that you added earlier in the plugin. Enter the email ID. On satisfying the condition, user will be redirected to the selected IDP. In our case it's Miniorange. Log in using your credentials. And you will be successfully logged into your Jira dashboard. However, if you enter the username or the email domain that does not satisfy the redirection rule, then the default redirection rule will be considered. Previously we had set our default redirection rule as Jira login page. Hence we are redirected to Jira login page. We have covered the most common use cases for redirection rules. To understand how to configure redirection rules for your Jira instance, raise a ticket with us with a link in the description. Miniorange provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.